Hey everyone, as the dust surrounding the midterm elections begins to settle, one important change in the political landscape has emerged. For the next two years, the U.S. will have a divided Congress. The Republicans look like they'll have a slim majority in the House of Representatives, and the Democrats will have a slim majority in the Senate. Although this could make for a contentious political landscape, if the past is any guide to the future, barring a major crisis such as the pandemic, a divided Congress suggests there will be gridlock. I know a lot of people don't like it, but in recent decades, a divided Congress basically has been synonymous with political gridlock. Basically, very little gets done. No big fiscal policy changes, no stimulus, no significant infrastructure investments, no changes to healthcare, no major tax law changes, and so on. Basically, gridlock pretty much sets the current government rules in place for the next two years. Although federal government intervention can be very important in times of crisis and significant policy changes can reshape the economy, there are times when taking a breather can be a good thing. And from a commercial real estate standpoint, I'd suggest we're in one of those times. In fact, historically speaking, having a multi-year runway with few changes on the radar screen has favored commercial real estate. Think about that for a minute. Whenever tax law changes have been on the table, it has been an incredible distraction. In 2017, when changes to 1031 tax deferred exchanges, retained earnings, and capital gains were on the table, it stalled decision making. Regardless of whether new laws are beneficial for commercial real estate investors or not, potential changes are still a distraction and a variable that stalls investors out. So if we have a couple years of very modest, if any, changes coming from Congress, what's that mean for commercial real estate? Using the NACRIF total return index as a measuring stick, the average return in years when Congress was controlled by a single party was 8.3%. When Congress was divided, however, the average return on commercial real estate was 10.8%. That's a 2.5% annual premium. And if you look back at the cycle since 1980, the trends are pretty apparent. Congress was split from 1981 to 1986, and annual commercial real estate returns were 12.7%. Between 1987 and 2000, Congress was controlled by a single party, and returns were just 6.8%. In 2001 and 2002, the divided Congress delivered 8.2% returns, followed by single party control from 2003 to 2010 with 7.8% returns. The trend continued with 12.4% returns from 2011 to 2014, followed by 9.3% returns from 2015 to 2018. And as I mentioned earlier, Congress was divided during the onset of COVID from 2019 to 2020. The returns fell to 4.7%, but that was followed by 14.2% returns in 2021 and 22. Of course, past performance does not guarantee future results. But if you believe that the split Congress of the next two years will result in gridlock, then you pretty much have two years where the rules are unlikely to change. That means you can lock in your strategic commercial real estate investment playbook with the advantage of having a much clearer view as you keep your eyes on the horizon.